Well, I've been trying to make this video for a couple of days and just haven't had time. <clears throat> so if you remember the hydrofrac that we did for one of my subscribers, um, the well was 600 feet deep and it took three days to fill up. We finally got the test results back from the well driller who did the pump test on the well, um, you know, a week after we had hydrofracked it. So the results from that well were absolutely amazing. Typically when we go to hydrofrack a well, we look for anywhere between a four to a 10 times increase in water flow. Now this well made 0.22 gallons per minute. Essentially that's like one gallon every five minutes. After they did their pump test, they, they basically drew the water level down to like 300 feet and then they turned the pump off and then they allowed the water level to recover to like 200 feet and you basically just do the math and the amount of time that it takes the water level to go from 300 feet to 200 feet and you can come up with your calculation. The amount that it increased was an increment of 16 times the original flow rate. So the well makes like 3.55 gallons per minute now, which is absolutely awesome for the situation that the customer was in. You know, when you're gonna build a big house on a corner lot like that and you spend all this money, you really wanna have a decent well that's gonna provide your house with great water. And three and a half gallons a minute, it may not seem like a lot, but that's like over 5,000 gallons a day. Like, that that's a lot of water. Hopefully you won't ever need that amount. Because most of us, we only use like six to 700 gallons a day, even in a bigger home. But, so yeah, 16 times, 16 times the original uh, natural natural flow rate. That, that was pretty awesome. So, I was pretty excited to share that with y'all. Um, I've known for a few days, I just haven't had time to really shoot a video about it, so I'm on the way to work, and um, I wanna let y'all know, so the reason why I was gonna wait to post this was because of the amount of people telling me to cover the damn PTO on the Hydrofrac. So yeah, I'm gonna cover the PTO. It's actually something I've always wanted to do, but it was just like, they were like, you know, there's always more important things to go that go on. Um, I don't ever really step in that area, but yes, accidents happen. You can fall on top of it. Um, so I actually have a gentleman right now, he builds race cars. You know, anybody who knows me knows I love racing. So I basically drew up some plans, sent them to him, and sent him a picture of what was going on. And I was like, look, I'm trying to build something, a cover that goes over this. That way I can step on it, walk on it, if the uh, if the U joint were to explode, it would you know hold hold it in there, wouldn't hurt me, all that stuff. So I'll make a video on that here soon, uh, probably in the next week or so. He's just got to cut out the metal on his CNC, um, on his like I guess he's got one of them like cutting torch CNC machines, and then he'll just bend it to the specifications that I had asked for. So I am gonna cover the PTO per everybody's request. I guess nobody wants me to get hurt. That's a good thing. That means y'all care. I love people that care. My girlfriend has been freaking out over that whole PTO thing just because like 90% of the comments in like my most viewed video. So the Hydrofrag video is my like currently most viewed video ever. I've never posted a video and in 10 days gotten a hundred thousand views like that's a whole that's saying a whole lot for a real small subscriber base but it just you know I got to cover the PTO so I'm gonna do that just felt like uh, let everybody know I'm gonna attach this uh, this video to the comment section of the hydrofract to where everybody will know the results and everybody can stop telling me to cover the damn PTO so Hope y'all have a good day. I hope y'all like the results. And uh, stay tuned for more content coming in the future. Thank y'all for watching.